Hello everyone, my name is Ishmael N and welcome to today's quick video. And in today's quick video, I just want to let you know something that the Lord is finally hearing your prayers. And these are the things, these are the signs that you will know that the Lord has revealed the one for you. I want to encourage somebody and a disclaimer, this message is not for everyone and I'll tell you why. But if it's for you or you just take it before the Lord, okay? Just take it before the Lord and ask him to further confirm so that you know how to wait upon it or to act upon it. Hallelujah. First of all, let's start with the book of First Samuel chapter 1, verse 19, which was talking about Hannah when she was praying. She was always wanted a child. She was barren. And then there came a time where she, did, she was no longer even eating. You know, she was just talking she made a vow before the Lord to put it simple. And at the end of the day, Eli ended up granting that prayer request. And, or, and then the priest, Eli, ended up also coming in an aid. And then it was like, may the Lord do what you, you are asking or what you want. So the Bible in verse, nine, in verse 19 of the very same chapter of chapter 1, you know what happened? The Bible says, then the Lord remembered Hannah and then she was able to conceive. Then the Lord remembered her. Uh, An amplified version says she remembered her prayer. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something about when the Lord remembers. The most important thing is when the Lord remembers. Let me tell you also when you go to the book of Genesis chapter 30 verse 22. It says, then the Lord remembered Rachel. Hallelujah. He remembered the prayers because remember she was also barren. But then finally, he remembered there and she was able to conceive. Here is a thing with the Lord that we're serving, with the God that we're serving. Right now, you've been looking for your marital breakthrough. You've been praying. You've been asking the Lord this and that. The, the thing here, the main thing here now is not about you praying, praying, praying. The Lord, to some of you, like the Lord, the, the Lord already has heard you. He's waiting for his a perfect time. I like it what, uh, what the Bible says uh, with uh, the case of Rachel. The Bible says the Lord had made there to be barren. He made there to be. I think another way to put it simple, sometimes uh, it would be a matter of God has not yet allowed you to get married. Or he has made you not to get married. But it's for a moment. There's a difference when you are uh, barren forever and when it's just for that season. Right now, you might be looking for a certain breakthrough. You might be looking for something in life, but it's not happening. And the Lord is allowing it. So this is also another way of putting it like the Lord has made you to be. Let's just take, for example, to talk about finances, to be financially unstable. Sometimes it's the Lord. It's just that I don't like the people who, you know, usually, especially on TV, to be like, why did God allow this? Why did God allow this person to die? As if it's always God, 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 do those, those things. If it's God, then let me tell you something. When is God responsible for you not progressing at the time? Or uh, maybe like he allowed something to happen that you were not expecting. The Lord will unlock. If the Lord shuts a door, he's the one who's still going to come and open that door. And sometimes you realize you won't have to do much. You'll just remember that prayer that you once made. Just because it's him, he's in full control. Not that he can't control when the devil is responsible, but when it's the Lord, he does things in his own timing. So I want you to look at yourself and understand what's happening here. The Lord remembered Hannah. The Lord remembered Rachel. These people have been praying so hard. They've been desperate with him to conceive and all those things. But a time came and the Lord remembered them. And I'm telling you, the Lord is going to remember you as well. That prayer you made, the Lord will just sit down and think about you. The Lord is going to think about you. You'll just be surprised. You are getting your marital breakthrough. You are getting your marital breakthrough. The Lord is sitting there. You just see things changing. Tell me, haven't you ever been in a situation or in a position as in your Christian work where you had prayed for something for a long time and you had almost even forgotten about it but then finally the lord answers that is the thing you he's been waiting for that perfect time so with those who were barren he could not allow them so even when your finances you might be praying right now 
any breakthrough in any area, you were looking for a car, you want to buy a house, then the Lord be like, now you are barren in that area for a moment. But then he's going to open up. So here's a season now I'm telling you, somebody is going to get that answer. The Lord is going to remember you in the name of Jesus Christ. It's going to open up your womb in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And when I say womb, in, I'm saying a breakthrough in different areas. In your marital breakthrough, in even other things, you'll begin to see changes. I tell you, I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, things are going to turn around. Hallelujah. And let me tell you, you're asking yourself, how will you know the signs if somebody's your ordained spouse, somebody's coming to your side? These signs will follow you. These signs will also most commonly, most likely be obvious. Your right ordained spouse especially with like they, they, they're gonna be aiming for marriage that somebody's gonna appear to you like how jacob approached rachel from first sight this the bible says he kissed her he like wow he couldn't believe it and was like, like, like he told the uh, dad that let me serve you so that i can marry her uh, that person won't make it difficult from the first time you set sight you will know from the get-go you will know from the get-go. I like what happened to my sister when she met her husband. She said from the get-go, she made him know that, you know what? I ain't got time to play here. My aim is to get married. I hope if you want to be with me, you want us to be together, it's because you are aiming for marriage because I'm tired of playing. And the man was like, okay, okay, yes, I'm serious. They said that, you know, here in Africa, like you, they start paying the dowries and all those lobola things, you know? So that's when he arranged everything. I was like, no, by this time, maybe in six months' time, December time, we're going to get engaged. I'm going to pay some lavola, blah, 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 blah. So that was showing somebody who was uh, intentional from the get go, who was serious. So your ordained spouse, they will know from the get go, show them what you want, what you, you're all about, and they're going to commit. From the get go, they're going to be serious. They're going to show you, even if you didn't say anything, that one, this, the major sign that you're going to see, that person will be aiming for marriage from the get-go. Whether it's a man, you will see that now he wants to get married, not in a deceptive manner where he just maybe is planning maybe to get in your pants or what, no. But I'm talking about a Christian who now be like, you know what, the reason I'm with you is because I want to get married. And they be serious. And even if you try to check to want to verify if they are lying or not, you realize for sure, then that will be a sign that is going to follow you. And it will be effortless. Let me tell you this. You won't have to fight for it. You won't have to cry or beg. It's going to flow in the name of Jesus Christ. Whether even it's a woman, a woman from the get-go, you can tell when she wants to marry, she can always already picture the future, having kids. So those things, so long as at the end of the day, you will know that all I need is finances or at a right date or the right time to arrange this all. This is going to happen. The Lord is going to remember you. The devil has nothing to do with it now. The Lord is in control in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And please remember to be a born again Christian. Surrender your life unto the Lord Jesus Christ. If you had backslidden, then rededicate your life unto the Lord Jesus Christ by repenting. And inviting the Holy Spirit to guide you and lead you in the name of Jesus Christ. And if you enjoyed today's video, remember to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And for prayer requests and spiritual advices, DM me on my Instagram or email me. The details are on the description of the video below. And as for me, Ishmael and your priest, I will see you in the next video upload. Take care and stay blessed.